Angular has one more very important concept to pass the data from a parent component to the child component and this way is very useful. In this approach we use something built in from Angular and the name is view child. So let's talk about our parent and child component. So this is the authors component that is the child component. So we are having this data set data. So we are not making any change over here. Let's go to the parent component. This is the parent component and this time let's remove this template reference variable also and let's remove this button also. So what I want, I want to access the child component in the TypeScript file of this parent component which is this one. Okay, to use the view child we have to use at the rate view child over here and this view child is available inside angular core. Let's use it. Now inside the parenthesis of this view child you have to pass the name of your child component and the name of the child component is this authors component. So let's write it over here. Then you have to provide the access specifier for the property. Let's say I'm writing private and here I'm writing child author. Basically you can write any meaningful name over here and let's define its type also. Again the type is this authors component this one we are done now i can access the data from the child component with the help of this child author field if you are using the view child in angular application then it is recommended to use another hook from the angular application what is hook so this ng on init that we are using over here this is a hook just like this there is one more hook we will understand all the hooks in upcoming videos but for now just understand that there is one more hook and the name is ng after view in it so before that we have to just use that over here so here i'm writing after view in it this one and let's implement this one over here so here i'm writing ng after view in it like this what is the use case of this ng after view in it hook this hook will get called once this corresponding html file that is the component html file will be loaded completely and if you are using the view child so it is recommended to write your code inside this after view in it so here i can write this dot child author dot here you can see we are having all the public properties and methods so this is the data this is ng on in it and this is the set data so let's use this set data i can also set the data directly in the data property but here let's use this set data and here i am passing 10 just save the value and remember we are not using anything else over here in this html file it is completely blank we are only using the selector and in the child component we are not using anything special it is completely simple code go to the browser and we are getting some error over here to resolve this error sometime in the dev mode we have to use set timeout so here we are and at this place i have to use set timeout this one like this save the changes again go back to the browser let's see what we have we are having the data in the child component so this 10 value we are passing it from parent and it is visible in the child component this view child is very important concept in angular application if you are passing the name of your component directly in this view child it means you are telling the application that this is the child component but in case you want to use the template reference variable from your html file then you can also do that so over here let's say this time again let's use that template reference variable so here i'm using authors just copy it go back to this component file over here and let's remove this name and use that template reference variable save all the changes go back to the browser and this time again you will see that we are getting this value at the child component there are so many interesting things to learn with the help of this view child so let's open this corresponding html file over here you will see we are having some html code but do you think that this is the only child that we are using in this component no whatever we are using over here those are also a child so this p tag is also a child this button is also a child to this home component if these html elements are the child for this home component then with the help of view child we can make changes in these elements as well let's say i want to make some changes in this button so before using the print html let's deal with the angular material over here let's use the mat button this one 
so we are not doing anything else we are only having this mat button or let's use raised here you will see that we are having this button and this is an angular material button this is the directive that we are using in this button element to make this button as the angular material button okay let's say i want to make some changes in this button so here i can use a template reference variable so here it is let's say the dec button you can give any meaningful name because we are having this decrease so i'm writing dec button save this name go to this component file and over here let's write it again so here i'm writing this view child in this view child this time i will be using the template reference variable from this button here i'm writing button and let's give it another meaningful name or you can use the dec button also the type is mat button this one now i can access everything from this mat button with the help of this dec button and again i will be using it over here in this ng after view in it how this dot dec button dot here you can see we are having all the properties and the methods this is the color default color disabled so let's say i want to use this color and you can see we are having all the colors let's use this primary save the changes and go back to the browser this time you will see we are having the primary color for this particular button you can also apply some more changes to this button with the help of this dec button so this dot dec button field dot here i'm writing disabled and let's make it true save the changes go back to the browser you will notice that the button is disabled so the components that we are using in the application those are not the only child that we are using in a component there are so many things that we are using over here now let's try to learn with the plain html element also so here is the plain html element so this is the p tag and its data is visible over here home works let's say i want to make some changes in this p tag so here i can write one more template reference variable and let's say here i'm writing title okay go back to this component file let's use one more view child view child over here let's define the name that was the title over here let's give it any meaningful name you can keep it same or keep it other title and this time we have to use the element ref this one so basically this will tell the actual element from your html so before using its value let's understand what is available in this title so here i'm using a console statement and i'm just logging its value so this dot title save the changes go back to the browser and this time here we are having this console window you can see that we are having this element reference and the native element is p in this p we are having everything that is available in the html okay so let's say i want to make some changes in this p tag as well so i can use this dot title dot native element dot let's say here i'm writing inner html and this is updated title save the changes go back to the browser this time you will see we are having the updated title on this page so with the help of this view child you can make changes in any child that you are having on your html file at the end there is one important tip for you if you are using the view child if you are using the view child then it will make your application heavy so try to avoid the view child as much as you can